pretties welcome back to my February favorites this month I've got a mixture of skincare hair care home care home living stuff and of course makeup so I haven't done uh, favorites in the last couple of months because you know it's been a crazy season it's been Christmas it's been years you know and so I haven't really had anything that I've been using and loving so much that month that I didn't do it yeah, I'll start with the top and kind of work my way down. Hair care. Now, my hair was naffed. I had it quite ombre and I was bleaching, bleaching, bleaching and it was horrendous. It was like straw. It was really bad. And I remember using a hair care range when I was 18 years old and working in the hair salon. And this is when I was seriously bleaching my hair again as well. And so somebody put me onto it um, and it almost like cured my hair. So it is the uh, shampoo and conditioner by Goldwell in the Carousel range. These are absolutely fantastic. Um, it says it's shampoo for extremely dry, damaged and unmanageable hair. And on the back it says that it is ideal after chemical straightening. So this is kind of how good it is. To me, in my personal opinion, this gives Joyco k back a serious run for its money. It doesn't contain any keratin, but it's seriously... I find Jayco, the uh, Joyco k pack just... I don't know, I just didn't like it. So uh, there's ones with red caps and ones with uh, silver caps. Now the red caps I think are for the really coarse, really really damaged hair and the silver cap is for like a finer hair and you know damaged but finer hair. So I got this one. It is a little bit too heavy for my poor little fine hair so I only put the um, conditioner part, treatment part on the ends of my hair in the shower and I just leave the top just shampooed. Otherwise it just weighs it down way too much. But seriously amazing, my hair feels so nice now and oh my god I just don't even want to live without the stuff and it smells amazing. So next I'll talk about skincare. Now I never normally find skincare that I love. I normally find skincare that I'm like yeah that's okay but yeah. I've got quite dry skin and yeah always just find skincare that I'm like oh it's okay. Hmm. And then I'm always looking for something else. So I've actually found one that I am so in love with and it is I'm pretty sure it's like completely natural it's made here in New Zealand and you can buy it from the warehouse for like ten dollars a tube and it is the by nature from New Zealand skincare range and the bottles let's just talk about the bottles to begin with the bottles are amazing look at this freaking love that like I just I as soon as I opened it I was like oh my god I love their packaging that is so cute and it smells amazing this uh, day cream has an SPF 15 in it, which is it seems to be another hard thing to find. And I've got the Bee Venom face cream for as a night cream because it says on the back that you can either wash it off after 15 minutes or for best effects leave it on overnight. So I just use this as a night cream. Um, let's just talk about the day cream. My skin now is no longer dry. It's I never have dry patches. I the only last dry patches that I had was because I got a little bit sunburnt and when I went camping. But my skin is not dry anymore, and this is just amazing. You put it on, and it almost like feels like it starts to melt into your skin, and then it just is like this not gel, but it's just oh god, it's just beautiful. Um, it's infused with collagen and vitamin E, and made here in New Zealand, natural. Oh, just absolutely love it. Ten dollars. You can only get it from the warehouse that I've seen so far. And the Bee Venom face cream that I'm using, now Bee Venom, that was a little bit scary, but everybody's been going on about it, so I thought I would, you know, hop on that bandwagon, as you do. And so I just absolutely love it. The first time that I put it on, uh, it felt like I rub was rubbing chili into my face. But, you know, I really scrubbed my face in the shower before I apply this, so... Um, it's it's an unusual feeling. I think if you if you're allergic to honey or you're allergic to bees, stings serious seriously in general, don't even go near it. Like I wouldn't even don't even. Why would you? So bee venom, I read into it, and it's supposed to be really good for like plumping the skin. Um, it, it, it mimics your whole face being stung by bees, and that brings a lot of the blood to the surface which improves circulation and brings all the nutrients and oxygen and stuff to repair. So it's supposed to be really good. I think I have noticed a bit of a difference. Uh, my, I got was getting like some serious fine lines underneath my eyes, I'm almost 27, and gone. Gone. Wow. And this is I think $15, I think, this is $14.99 I think, and it's lasted me a long time. They're both 60 grams. Um, this one contains UMF 15 plus, active manuka honey, rosehip oil, royal jelly, propolis, collagen and elastin and it is amazing. You can also get another night cream and an eye cream that I haven't got yet but I will be getting. I am just, I am 
I'm in love with this stuff. Like, and I, that I never find a skincare that I'm in love with, but I am in love with this. So the next product that I have found absolutely amazing is the Jordana lipsticks. These are so good. You can buy them also off beautyjoint.com and they're a lot cheaper even on beautyjoint.com. I think they're like $1.29 or something each. So super cheap. And they're really nice. They've got a really nice consistency. The gold ones are the matte ones and the silver ones are the normal ones. Even the normal ones aren't super glossy. They're kind of like a semi-gloss semi gloss lipstick so they're really nice. And look, I mean this one's melted and I did this in my car and it's gone melted and stuff but you know what? I don't care because it was only $1.29. So I love having lipsticks that I can just leave in my bag, leave in the car and not just be really nervous about. Like, I mean I picked up a MAC lipstick the other day and I dropped it and I thought I was going to die. Like you just, oh. So these are just amazing and the colours, there are such an amazing range of colours and they're so cheap. I find them here in store in Christchurch at again another little um, one, two, three dollar mart store in the mall um, who has Jordana stand. They're not stocked very well all the time but if you can manage to get in there when they've just restocked it then it's really good colours to choose from. So my next makeup favourite for this month is going to be the Chi Chi um, eyeshadow palettes. Now I tried these on in the store in my hand and I always thought that the pigmentation was lousy um, but I heard several girls go on about how good it really was and so I brought one, my first one that I brought was the bronzers and I absolutely love them. I got the classics not that long ago. These are superb. The pigmentation is lousy on your hand if you're trying to swatch it but amazing on the eye. Don't know why there's a difference. Maybe you're applying it with a brush and maybe it's because you're wearing primer. I don't know but these are just fantastic and the colours are beautiful and you can buy them in store. I think they're like $32.99 for each which to me is a little bit expensive considering you can pick up a Urban Decay palette, you know, the naked palette for, I mean what was that? That's like maybe $60, $70 New Zealand. Um, so yeah, they're a little pricey considering that's half of a naked palette but they are still beautiful and you can often get them, this is, I've only seen this at Farmers and you can often, uh, often they have deals where it's like 20% off and you know if you're lucky enough to get gift cards then it makes it even cheaper but really actually worth it, definitely give it a go. And now my next favourite for this month isn't a beauty product, it's my home living product or whatever I want to call it. Um, but I know that anybody who's into beauty is going to appreciate this and this is something that I have just recently bumped into and now I'm obsessed with it and I'm spending all my money on it other than makeup so it's good. It is the Yankee Candle Range. Oh my goodness Yankee Candle where have you been in my life. So I love fragrances, I love scents, I love perfumes and I stumbled across this. Uh, the three places that I know that I can find it in New Zealand are beautylounge.co.nz, that's where I got a whole bunch of my little wax tarts from. Um, they range I think $4 a wax tart and their shipping I think was free. I'm pretty sure it was free shipping. But they arrived like the next day, overnight delivery, so quick. The next place that I know you can get them from is uh, in Christchurch, is a like a garden store called um, Orderlings. Orderlings. Orderlings, I think it's called, something like that. And um, they mostly stock though the little candles um, and the giant candles, which are like $60 a candle. And these ones I think are about $5.99, I think they were. And not many of the wax tarts, I don't have many of those at all. But the other place that you can actually now get them from that I'm really excited about is Spotlight. Spotlight is now stocking Yankee Candle and they have an amazing range of candles and wax tarts and bigger candles. And when I went in they were having 30% off so I was really happy about that. So I absolutely love these. You can just burn them in your normal um, oil burner. They just kind of, that just pops in the top. I purchased one of these and just lit it and it just, it wasn't enough of the wax melted area to really smell out the whole room. So what I decided to do was I decided to just cut them in half and then just put half in my wax thing and then like half in a little baggie like so. And then you actually end up saving more money because then you pay say like $5 for one of these which works out to be about $2.50 per like burn and then these are actually like four or five dollars as well so that's only one so you know you save your money I, I'm saving money and then you can also um, like pop them out of your little oil burner like if you want to change your smell up change your smell up if you want to change the smell you can just pop these out of the oil burner and I just bag them like so I found that black 
coconut gives me headaches though so it's not very fun I have peach mango salsa burning right now and it just smells divine absolutely amazing candle range you can also go to the Yankee Candle website um, it's a .com website, so it's an American website. They don't shop internationally, so you'd have to use something like Ushop to get it here. Um, and that would be really expensive because, let's face it, they're going to weigh a lot. Unless you've got like the wax tarts and little candles. If you've got the big candles, they're just going to weigh so much. So it's just really not going to be worth your time. So that is all for my February fav February favourites. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And you'll be seeing this face again soon.